Watch very carefully. It is not sleight of hand. What I'm going to do is pay for it with my hand. The chip in my hand will be linked to my credit card. Dozens of employees at a Wisconsin vending machine company have microchips implanted in their hands. Chips about the size of a grain of rice. They can be used to open doors, boot up computers, or perhaps pay the tab in the break room. I started this bill three years ago, and uh, I think a lot of folks, when I talked about it, thought I was wearing my foil hat and kind of, you know, um, swimming around in the conspiracy pool, but it's not. Um, it's a pretty pervasive thing, especially over in Europe and in the Scandinavian countries. Indiana Representative Alan Morrison figures if it could happen in Wisconsin, it could happen here. He has pushed through legislation to keep chipping in check. It has the ability to track uh, locations of people and, and everything and from your, your heart rate and your, your blood pressure. And, and uh, it, it, it can be some pretty... Uh, pretty personal, invasive um, uh, information. The Indiana law doesn't say a company can't chip workers. It just says a refusal to get chipped can't be a reason for being fired or not hired. But if an employee says, well, I, I don't feel comfortable with that, I don't want uh, my employer mandating that I have to have a foreign body inserted into my body, that they cannot release that employee because of that. Nor can they offer higher pay or better benefits to those who agree to be chipped. The South Bend Regional Chamber of Commerce knows of no local companies that are interested in chipping. Reporting live in Studio B, Mark Peterson, 16 News Now.